choice enhances and responds to the need for some sort of uh, effic personal efficacy and control. If I have no choice in any of the things that I do, then I really become increasingly dependent. And my, my observation has been schools are designed to cut down choices. We think if we can limit kids' choices, we can control what they learn. That's not true. Uh, what we do to control what they absorb, but we don't control what they learn and what they're exposed to. But if we, t if we start saying, you've got to have some choice. You have no choice in what I do, then I've got to have some choice in how I do it. Somet sometimes, let, let me give an example. If you tell me I've got to uh, understand uh, and be able to read and, and critically respond to classical literature, and you've got a definition of what you mean by classical literature, then you've got to give me some choice in the classical literature to which I respond, okay? If on the other hand, you want me to learn to appreciate Shakespeare, and you're not gonna give me any choice about that, then you're gonna to have to give me a lot of choices in how I learn to appreciate Shakespeare. You may have to show me a movie as opposed to ask me to read Romeo and Juliet. You may hope that I will read Romeo and Juliet after I've seen the movie, uh, you know, but, but you gotta give me more choices in how I've come to apprehend Romeo and Juliet because I got no choice but dealing with Romeo and Juliet. But once, but if, if you want to say, what I want you to do is to learn to appreciate uh, Elizabethan literature. There's a whole wide range of that sort of thing. And so you can either deal with genre or you can deal with uh, type, you know, there's a whole bunch, but you need to be thinking about those things. Because if you don't give kids some choice about something, you're gonna reduce the chances of them being engaged because they feel helpless.